All right, welcome back. It's Back to the Basics. I'm Sean Barr, and we are talking DLP. That's data loss prevention, or is it data leak prevention? Either way, it's DLP. You know me. Let's go. All right, we are back, and we are talking data loss prevention. All right, so what is data loss prevention? Well, before we talk about data loss prevention, we should talk about the other L in DLP. So there's data loss prevention and data leak prevention. So by definition, data loss means the data is gone and you don't have a copy of it, or it's encrypted, like some of these malware uh, systems out there that come and encrypt the data, that's data loss, because now that data is not accessible to you, that's data loss. Data leak is maybe a user inadvertently sends an Excel spreadsheet with social security numbers and addresses and phone numbers and first names and last names, that would be a data leak. You still may have the data on premise, but it got leaked out outside the organization. So that's data loss versus data leak. So there's a number of ways that DLP solutions work. One way is user activity monitoring. That's where a user maybe inadvertently sends some data or maybe they're doing it intentionally. Either way, you'd wanna know about that if, uh, if a user's sending uh, proprietary corporate information or information maybe about employees or, or maybe even clients. You'd wanna be able to capture that. There's a couple of forms of, of data. So there's data at rest, data in use, and data in transit. Um, so there's a number of solutions that monitor a couple of those, so one of those, or all of them. Um, and so, so when we talk about data at rest, well, those could be things like anti-malware protection. It could be antivirus, those anti-X capabilities. Data in use would be more of an endpoint protection solution that would be monitoring what the user is actually doing while the data is in use. And then data in transit would be more like an IDS, IPS type solution that would be looking at it on the wire as it moves through the network. So those are the three types of data states. So some tools, uh, endpoint DLP is, is something that's, that's pretty common. So what are some of the DLP applications? Well, Digital Guardian, as an example, makes a DLP agent that would sit on a desktop that would monitor things like what a user's doing, maybe screen captures, maybe keyboard strokes, things like that. It would also give you some reporting on, on each of your individual users. So for data in transit, there's things like Cisco's IPS solution, which monitors the data as it goes through the network. So that really covers it. We talked about data loss versus data leak and what those two differences are. We talked about user activity monitoring. So that's that's more of like the endpoint level, level monitoring. We talked about the data states, data at rest, data in use, data in transit, a little bit around what tools would work at which state. So if you are trying to improve your security posture or you're just trying to as a policy, ensure that data on your environment stays within your environment. And if it gets, if it leaves the environment, you have a mechanism to track down how it got out of the environment, where it started from, or even prevent a user from doing it in the first place. If there's anything I said in this video that you go, hey, I'd love to know more, make sure you leave a comment. And if you like the content, make sure you like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next Back to the Basics. Thanks for watching.